So, so great to talk to you today, Peter. We're talking about The Ravine, which is coming out April 2nd on Amazon. What can you tease about this project? Um, well, it's based on a book called The Ravine. It's based, uh, it's inspired by a true story. Um, my, my, it's about two, Eric Dane plays my, my best friend. And uh, my character ends up one night uh, doing a horrendous act of, of killing members of his family, of his own family. Um, and then Eric Dane's character is left with the, you know, the, the, the leftover of, of what that, that is, you know, like, how do you forgive somebody that you were best friends with that did such a horrendous act and then killed himself, you know? Uh, it leaves such an emotional scar. So the movie really is about forgiveness. But I also think for my character, it's it's about mental health, which is a big issue right now. And, you know, um, and I'm glad people are shining a light on that because something must have happened to, to that person to have gone and killed his wife and his some of his children. And, uh, and And it's really a cautionary tale then to, you know, look for telltale signs in your friends, like, hey, are you okay? Are things happening, you know, that I can help with? And also if, if you feel like you're not okay to reach out and get help. And I was actually going to ask about that next. Um, one of the main themes, as you mentioned in the film is mental health. What do you hope viewers take away from watching this project? Yeah, just that if you're, if you know, check in with your friends more uh, and also don't feel so alone if, if you're going through something, you know, like I said, that that person, that character that I played must have felt, you know, really alone and, and pressured and, and, and you know, this was his escape and it took lives with him. And, it, and um, you know, if he had just turned to somebody, if, if he was able to, you know, lean on someone, maybe that wouldn't have happened. Um, so, you know, it's a twofold, you know, process with this movie there, there's two sides of this coin and, and and i i feel like there's a big theme of forgiveness you know is in this movie but again there's there's also that um you know if you're if you're struggling reach out and and you're not alone you know kind of turning the corner working with eric dane on this film what was it what was the dynamic with him on set and um how was your friendship like working on this film he made me call him mcsteamy all the time which was <laughs> really awkward uh no, i love derek I, you know we we had so much fun we shot this in uh in new orleans before the pandemic and uh we went on a bayou trip together like down the bayou um he's such a, a cool you know, guy, and, and I and I enjoy his company a lot. I'm actually gonna see him, I think, in, in like two days for the premiere, and, and I'm looking forward to seeing him. I haven't seen anybody really in a year because we've all been in lockdown, so it's kind of nice. But, but he, I'm, I'm I'm fortunate that he's one of the first that I get to see uh, out in the public because he's a good he's a good dude. And another project you have out now is The Vanished, which has been getting a ton of views on Netflix. How has it been like seeing that reaction from fans online about that project? Oh, it's been so great. Uh, you know, the movie came out in August or September last year, and uh, we were, you know, the top five films that, that streamed that, that uh, when it came out. And then it was top five when it came out, you know, on DVD just a month or two later. And then just uh, about a month ago, it was like top, top five on, on Netflix. So, you know, it just keeps finding an audience. I think we had like 290 million views for it the first week on, on Netflix. And, and to, to have written and directed it and uh, put so much work into it, it's, it's nice that people are finding it and enjoying it and, and, you know, telling people to watch it. So if you haven't seen The Vantage yet, make sure you check it out. It's on Netflix. I'm definitely going to check it out. You are so multifaceted. I also saw that you were on the cover of Athleisure Magazine. Can you share some about your wellness uh, routine and how you've been staying in shape during the pandemic? Yeah, I think, well, I don't think there's any secret. I lost 30 pounds over the pandemic. And, uh, you know, recently, I have to be honest, like, I, I'm not a big spa guy. I, up until like a couple of months ago, I just washed my face with a bar of soap, you know, but, but I found this cool spa in Woodland Hills called El Eve Spa. And I go there and it's like the Willy Wonka of like, you know, youth stuff like that, you know, I'm not into like fillers and all that stuff, but I'll get a, they have great facials there. They have you know, um, they have these mach this machine that they'll put on you and, and it basically gives you like a thousand crunches worth, you know, in, instead of doing like sit ups, it'll just, it stimulates your, your muscles. To, so that I ch check out all this great stuff because there's so much stuff that we could do for self care 
that I just wasn't aware of before. And so, uh, you know, I used to think, well, guys don't go to spas, you know, but, but, you know, I, I do now because like there, there's just great products there and it's fun to, to go there and see what they have that, you know, to me, it's like, if you have a car, you maintain it, right? So if you have your, your face and your body, you should maintain it before you, before you get to a place where it's like, oh, too late, you know? Yeah, I feel like especially um, during the pandemic, self-care has become like very important and apparent that people really do need to be taking care of themselves inside and out. So I love that. Um, I do have to ask, because there's been a whole resurgence during the pandemic. People are calling it the Twilight Renaissance on TikTok. It all happened after Stephanie Meyer, she released a new book um, from Edward Cullen's perspective. Mm -hmm. um, it shot to the top of the bestsellers. Why do you think that this series remains so beloved by fans? Because I know your character, especially Carlisle, people just love you as Carlisle. Oh, uh, thanks. You know, um, that that movie hit a chord with a lot of people. It, it, what was great about it was, I remember when we were shooting it and, and going to premieres, there'd be people just tenting out just to watch these movies. And, and they would make such great friends just in line with people and they bonded over this. So anything that bonds people for the love of something, I think is great. And, and, it, and also it just hit an age range with like, uh, you know, a, a grandmother could go with a daughter or a grandfather could go with a grandson. And like they all, it just ran the gamut from like 13 to 80 and, and people enjoyed it because it was a it, behind the vampire stuff was a beautiful love story. And, uh, and so being able to check out that love story from another angle is, is, is probably pretty cool. I, I haven't gotten a chance to read that, that one yet. I'm waiting for the Carlisle perspective. <laughs> I think a Carlisle spinoff would be yeah. an amazing uh, opportunity if that ever happened. And I was actually just going to ask because Stephanie also said that she wanted to write a couple more books in the series um, about various characters. If there ever was like a reboot with Carlisle, would you be down to return? You know, the, the, it, I, 100 percent. If they have me, 100 percent. But, but the funny thing about vampires is you're not supposed to age. So that's why I'm going to L.E. Spa so I don't so I don't age. And I could play Carlisle in the future. You'll be like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. He just yeah. keeps playing the same age over and over. So that would yeah. be amazing. Um, and final question, looking to the future and um, the next year, what pro other projects can you tease about what you have coming out? Um, I have, I just did a pilot for ABC. Um, and then there's another movie I did called 13 Minutes that's coming out, I think later this year. And uh, God, I have so many things. <laughs> I have so many things going on. Like I'm, I'm looking to direct the movie that I that I just uh, that I wrote. So I'm, I'm trying to get the financing for that. And uh, you know, the industry is opening up again. So so I'm reading a ton of scripts again, which is nice because for like eight months everything was shut down. Nobody could work. You know. Um, <clears throat> so now that there's an influx of scripts to read and uh, and things that I'm trying to get off the ground, it's 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 uh, it's it's nice. And I guess kind of one more final question. I know that you mentioned um, we have ha have had a long time in the pandemic to kind of focus on ourselves. What do you think you've learned about yourself, yourself over this past year? Um, you know, I couldn't go out. So I ended up because for me, I was I was always on a hamster wheel of doing, 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 doing. So I, I wasn't I didn't really take the time to be. And so I've been, because I was forced to do that, I now feel like, okay, now I need to find the balance as everything starts to open up. You know, I need to be able to not just run from thing to thing to thing, but also to be, have time for myself to, to stay still and, and go within. Like I, I've meditated more. I took a whole course on hypnosis, like uh, just because I'm fascinated with the mind. So I was able to do things that I wasn't able, didn't, I didn't feel like I had time for before but I think you always have time. So it's just a matter of, of carving out that time and not getting so busy with things that you neglect the things uh, for yourself. Yeah, I, feel, I feel like finding your priorities have become um, a top of the list during the pandemic. So I think that's great. And I'm excited to see the ravine and thank you so much for talking with me today. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh, uh, thank you so much.